guys! So today's video we're going to be talking about tea. And I know what you're thinking, Caro, this is a hair channel, not a food channel, so what are we doing? And you're right, this tea is for drinking and for hair. So this Good Hair Don't Care tea is from the Matcha Reserve, from their new line of Superfood Detox Teas. And I would like to disclaimer before we go any further that I'm not usually one who's super supportive of like detox things in terms of using products to try to flush your body out of toxins. I more support detox, organic, GMO-free products in terms of knowing exactly what you're putting into your body. So who is the Matcha Reserve? They're a brand that's all about healthy superfoods and plant-based products. As you can maybe guess, their main thing is matcha, and they have a wide range of matcha products. And this video is sponsored by them, so I'd like to give a quick thank you to them for doing so and allowing me to give an honest review for you guys. They have their detox teas, and they more recently rolled out their range of organic super powders. They're basically trying to bring as many and as diverse organic, vegan, gluten-free superfoods as they can. Of course, you can find all of their products on their website. I have a link down below, along with a coupon code for you guys. I'll give that to you right off the bat. So you can use Caro Matcha for 15% off site-wide with no limit date. But keep in mind that they usually keep a low stock of all the products to keep everything as fresh as possible. So like I said, they have their new line of teas that are gluten-free, GMO-free, and 100% natural that each have their own focus. This video will be about their new hair one, but they did send me three others to try, so we'll touch on these real quick. I'd also like to disclaimer that one of these teas is a weight loss tea, which is not something that I'm super, super supportive of, just since there can be an unhealthy and negative mindset and perspective associated with weight loss teas. So I just wanted to put that out there that I am someone who supports natural foods, superfoods, health foods, all that jazz, but I do support GMOs. I like those things. I'm not really a GMO-free type person. I do buy things that aren't organic. I'm not super into organic stuff, and especially when it comes to like detox and weight loss products, I just like to be conscious that there is a healthy way to use them and approach them and an unhealthy way, and we're going to try to avoid the unhealthy detox weight loss ideas on my channel. Hope that all made sense. So with that said, let's talk about these teas. And so each tea is $26.50 for a two-week supply, but don't forget that you can use my coupon code CAROMATCHA for 15% off. So the first one we'll go over is the I'm So Excited Energy Tea. It has green tea, rhubarb, ginseng roots, linden blossom, and rose petals in it. And if you'd like to know more about those ingredients and why specifically they are chosen for the energy tea, you can read about it on the website for the Matcha Reserve. As much as I would love to share all the fun facts related to these teas, I'm not trying to bog you all down with information, so like I said, you can find it all on the website. Next up is the I Got It From My Mama weight loss tea. Like I said, not something that I super gel with in terms of the use of it, but I did try one to see what it tasted like, and I thought that it had a really nice mint flavor, which makes sense because it does include spearmint. Next up is the Glow Baby Glow Skin Cleansing Tea, and this actually ended up being my favorite tasting tea out of all of them. I actually only have a few left because I was drinking this one every day for about the past week and a half. And so like I said, this one focuses on skin cleansing and purifying and all that jazz. So I will get up close and you guys can tell me if you see a difference. I do naturally, luckily, thankfully have really nice skin due to genetics. Skin is not really something that I worry about. I don't really have a skincare routine. So I can't really say if I saw any massive results for drinking this for a week and a half straight, but I can say that it was really delicious and it was a fun part of my breakfast morning routine. And this one is more fruity. It has a really strong fruit scent, but the taste ended up being more herbal with like a hint of fruit. And my friend did try this one and he said that it was green tea with a twist and that it was a more normal flavor than what the scent led him to believe it might be. So all the teas do actually have a pretty strong scent but the taste is a lot more subtle. And then the ingredients in this one are marigold petals, fruit tea, which makes sense because it was fruity, lemongrass, burdock root, rosehip, green tea, and white tea. So all the teas come in these nice triangle mesh bags, and one thing that I really liked about them is that you could really clearly see all the ingredients. So not only can you really clearly read the ingredient list, you can like really clearly see the ingredient list in the bags. Like here is the energy tea one and like you can see rose petals in there. And I just thought that was really cool. I'm so used to tea being either just like this blended green or brown powder or just like a bunch of weird leaves. But with these superfood teas from the Matcha Reserve, you can like 
very clearly see the ingredients list in the bag. I thought that was kind of cool. And so then lastly, of course, we have the Good Hair Don't Care Hair Conditioning Tea. This taste and smell was herbal and slightly minty with rosemary and thyme. I really tasted the thyme in this one, and another friend that I had tried it said that he could really taste the rosemary. This one has nine superfoods in it to help give you healthier, prettier, and thicker hair. There's mulberry leaf, nettle, rosemary, marigold, sage, jasmine, green tea, chamomile, goji berry, and thyme. I'll include in the description what each of those superfoods does to help with your hair. Because this video is about the hair one, I wanted to include the information for these products in the description just because I thought it was really interesting. But of course, like I said, I don't want this video to be too crazy long. I want to get into the hair part of the tea as opposed to the drinking part of the tea. So I'm not going to just read it all off for you guys and you can read it there if you'd like. But I can summarize and say that all of these in here are to help with growth, to help with softness and conditioning. Some of these things prevent breakage in your hair. Some of the ingredients reduce oiliness and dandruff. Okay, so what about this tea makes it not just for drinking? Well, it doubles as a hair mask. I was super intrigued by this concept. I hadn't really heard of tea as like a hair product before, but once I got this tea and I was looking into it, Turns out that tea rinses are a really big thing, and some teas can be used in homemade hair masks. I've personally never really done a homemade DIY hair mask before, mostly because I've either been too lazy or because I didn't want to waste food products on my hair. So I see a lot of things that it's like mix up eggs, mix up honey, blah blah blah. But for me, if it's something that I paid for that's for eating, I don't want to waste it on my hair right? Especially if it's something that I'm not even sure is gonna really work because then it's like then I just wasted my breakfast on something that didn't really do anything. So I've never really done like food-based homemade hair masks. But using this tea is perfect because you just have the tea itself and plus a conditioner if you'd like to and you do it after you've already had the tea. So you're actually getting more use out of your tea than you would. And you're getting more use out of the food that you paid for than you would if you're just mixing up a bunch of food that of course you can't eat after you put it in your hair. And of course if you eat it, you can't put it in your hair after because that's disgusting. <laughs> and that's an image that I did not mean to bring up and I'm very sorry about that. So let's get back to this tea. So that's why I was really intrigued, really excited about this because after you drink the tea, instead of just throwing the tea leaves away, which is another thing that I've always felt is kind of like, okay, look at all of these herbs that are just going in the trash. And now you can use it as part of your hair care routine. Dope. So I was really excited to try it and I do have a demo for you. So this is the before shot that I have for you. This was in between when I was installing my extensions from Nuclear Butterfly that I'm wearing right now. This was also really good timing because I do like to use conditioning hair masks on my hair in between dread sets. So I was extra excited to try this one from the Matcha Reserve. So you can either apply the tea leaves by themselves or you can mix it up with a conditioner. And like I said, since I like to condition my hair in between dread sets, I decided to mix mine up with this tea tree conditioner from Giovanni. Just to be safe, I saved up two extra tea bags and then drank one right before I did the mask just to be sure that I would have enough tea leaves to feel like I was able to apply it all over my hair. But what I did is I cut open the tea bags and dumped all of the leaves out like so. And so this is all of the tea that we have to work with. And then I added some of the tea tree conditioner to it. And I gave it a quick mix with my hands. Next time what I might do is really try to like mash everything up and really try to blend and mix it. But here I just mix everything up so that it was an even consistency. And so then next is just applying the mask. I started at my roots and applied the whole mixture to my entire head trying to get everything as even as possible. And I'll say here, this is something that I would very highly recommend you do in the shower. For demonstration purposes so that I could film it properly, I did this outside of the shower and it just would have been a lot easier in the shower. There was a little bit of a mess just because, you know, the tea leaves don't get blended up completely. Also, I'd like to say that if you do do this in the shower, make sure that you have a good strainer on your shower drain. Some of the bits of tea are a little bit big and so you wouldn't necessarily want that to go down your drain. I wouldn't want anybody's plumbing to get fucked up because of me. And so if you do this in the shower, then of course when rinsing it out, make sure that you have a good strainer on your drain. This was definitely a messy but fun hair mask. 
And so once I felt that everything was applied and even and in my hair, like so, then the next step is to let everything sit for five to 10 minutes, then rinse. And so after rinsing and drying, this is my after shot of my hair. Of course, after just one mask, and since my hair is so damaged from all the bleach, there isn't gonna be much of a visible difference, but I will say that it was a lot softer and had a nice herbal smell to it. And so I was drinking the hair care tea for about a week before I did the hair mask, and then for about a week after, I maybe have a couple bags left. Unfortunately, I can't really say after like two weeks of drinking the tea how my hair is because I have had the extensions in, but if my bangs are anything to go off of, they do feel really soft. But that might just be because they don't have any bleached bits in them and it's just my natural hair. It is tough to say after just a week or two weeks of using something to see if there's a difference. Maybe after four weeks, that might be a little bit closer to when you'd see a large noticeable change. But if anything, the hair tea and then the skin tea do taste really good for me. Now if you're looking for miraculous, incredible results, then I'm not sure if just the teas are the way to go, but they do seem like they'd be a great supplement to add to a skincare routine or a hair care routine, stuff like that. So overall, my review of this tea would be I really like the taste. It's nice and herbal with rosemary and thyme, like I said. I think it's really cool that you can actually see the ingredients in it. I love that it doubles as a hair mask. I think that's so dope. I don't feel like I'm wasting food that I paid for. I don't feel like I'm wasting all the tea in the bag that I just would normally just throw away. So do I think that this is a miracle tea that's gonna fix all of my hair problems? I don't know. But do I think that I would choose this one over a standard green tea in a heartbeat? Yes. So that's it for my review of this Good Hair Don't Care tea. Comment down below and let me know if you've ever used tea on your hair, such as using a tea rinse or using tea in a hair mask. How did it go? Did it work? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Was it weird? Was it fun? Was it messy like mine kind of was? Let me know down below. Don't forget that you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll have links down below, along with my Facebook, Tumblr, YouNow, and Patreon. Feel free to subscribe if you're not already. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!